Happy New Year. Welcome to 2010. Hold on one second. Ah, refreshing. Just like the thoughts of 2010. We got a great year ahead of us. A lot of goals to accomplish. A lot of things to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make that in my blooper section. So, for 2010, I got a lot of great advice for you guys. And out of all the advice I can give, the number one thing I'll tell you to do is to definitely plan ahead. You wanna definitely know what exactly you'll be doing for these 12 months from January to December. And you wanna keep a checklist to see what goals you wanna accomplish. Because basically, if you're trying to just go through this year freestyling, you're not going to get as much accomplished as planning everything out accordingly and then going step by step with each plan until you get everything accomplished. So then in next year, when you watch this video and I ask you, hey, what did you accomplish for 2010? You can have your whole list of things one by one by one by one to show what you accomplished for the year and you'll be on track more than just going day by day and saying you're gonna do something and not really doing it at all. When I say plan stuff, what you really wanna do, you wanna put a time limit on yourself. So if you wanna, you, you set a goal for January or for June, you wanna give yourself a time limit for it and what exactly it'll, be, it'll take to be accomplished. So when you do that, you're giving yourself a head start. So you do that from now, you take this a few hours today and you plan out your whole month from January to December to know exactly what you're gonna accomplish and give yourself time limits for it, you're gonna see how easy it is to accomplish it because you already set goals for yourself. So once you do that, you're on a head start more than a lot of other people who just say, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then don't actually do it. So, of all the great advice I can give you is plan ahead. Use this year to accomplish more than you did in 2009. If 2009 didn't go so well as you planned, use these first few hours that you had today before the ball drops to plan out so your 2010 could be way better than how 2009 was. Once you do that, you just see yourself going right up the ladder and then so on and so on. So then next year when I ask you this question again, your goals for 2011 will be way more higher and you'll achieve way more than you did in 2010. Other than that, happy new year. Thanks again. Check out the website. Sign up. Oh yeah. January, January 29th, we're having a big luxury event. It's going to be at Club Drone. Again, tw January 29th, it's going to be a big luxury event. I got the tickets on deck. January 29th, you already know, it's going to be a night to remember. So, tell your girls that you're going out. January 29th, Chris Finley is having a real grown and sexy event in the city. New York City is going to be, you know, strictly grown and sexy. The dress code is very strict, so make sure you get your outfit ready. You know, we got the tickets on deck, or you can buy them online at IamChrisFinley.com. You can see a button that says buy tickets, so check that out. Other than that, Happy New Year. Thank you, everybody, for all the support in 2009. I hope you keep showing the support for 2010. It's very well appreciated. So, my ladies, thank you very much. Stay independent. Stay strong. And stay, what's a good word? Considerate. Considerate? No. That's, that's a whack. I didn't say that. What did you say? I didn't say anything. I said, I don't know. You said it all. I mean, all right. For 2010, stay beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>